This screencast will show you how to set up JFrog Artifactory as a Docker image and start using it as a private secure Docker registry in minutes. JFrog Artifactory is a universal artifact repository. It works with different build tools, CI servers, and packaging systems. Please see additional screencasts from JFrog to learn how to use Artifactory with other tools. After requesting an Artifactory license or as part of an upgrade notification, you will get an email from JFrog containing a link to a special bin tray page with Artifactory downloads. We will pull an official Artifactory Docker image from bin tray. JFrog bin tray is a modern, feature-rich distribution platform. For example, you can use bin tray to get notifications when new versions of Artifactory are released. There are more ways to install Artifactory. Standalone zip file with embedded Tomcat server, deploying WAR file into existing Tomcat container, or RPM and Debian distributions for Linux. Please note that Docker image is the only flavor that comes with pre-configured Docker registry setup. Once all the layers were resolved, we can start up the container. You can find the run command in Artifactory user guide. We'll copy paste it from there. We will change the command to match our case. The version will be the latest. We'll skip the volume mount for the screencast. And we'll set the container name to be Artifactory. Please also note the port's forwarding. They are used to map multiple Artifactory repositories to a single domain, and we'll use them down the road. Now, when Artifactory is up and running, let's browse to its web interface. First, you need to install the license. Simply paste the license code that was sent to you by JFrog. Now, Artifactory is ready to use. As you can see, Artifactory already comes pre-configured with five Docker repositories, four locals, Docker Dev Local for versions 1 and 2 of the registry, and Docker Prod Local. Local repositories are used for pushing your own Docker images and the differentiation between development and production repositories exists to build promotion pipelines on top of them. Artifactory also already has a remote repository pre-configured. The Docker remote proxies the official Docker hub to allow locality, network independence, and control. Let's start working with Artifactory by pulling an image from Docker hub via Artifactory remote repository. For setting up your tools to work with Artifactory, the Set Me Up button is your best friend. The pop-up window gives you all the instructions and provides you with valuable configuration snippets. It is context sensitive and shows the relevant information based on the focus location in the tree browser. On the Set Me Up screen for remote repository, we can see the pull command that should work with a virtual host configured for that repository. Since we got the Nginx pre-configured inside Artifactory container, We'll refer to the install documentation to discover the virtual hosts and port mappings. As you can see, the Docker remote repository is mapped to port 5000. Let's try to pull a BusyBox image from the Docker hub via Artifactory. Success! Listing the images shows our newly downloaded image. Note that it was re-tagged on the fly to reflect the fact that it was actually downloaded from Artifactory and not directly from the Docker Hub. We can see the image in the Docker Remote Cache repository in Artifactory as well. Now, let's try to push an image to a local repository. Again, the Set Me Up button is our best friend. You can see that we need to run two commands, re-tag the image to reflect its target repository, and then execute the push. We need to consult the documentation again to check how Nginx maps the Docker Dev local repository. Here it is, mapped to port 5002.
we are tagging the BusyBox image to the new port. Images list reflect the fact that the image has two tags now. Now let's push the image. Looks good. Let's check whether the image is in Artifactory as we expect it to be. Here you go. The image is indeed in Docker Dev Local Repository. This concludes our Docker setup screencast. You can use JFrog Artifactory to run Java builds with Maven, Gradle, Ivy, and Ant, and work with packaging systems of other development platforms, like Nougat, RubyGems, or NPM. Artifactory also offers tight integration with Jenkins, Hudson, TeamCity, Bamboo, or any other CI server. Artifactory is also a great artifact repository for your DevOps needs, since it natively supports managing Docker images, Vagrant images, as well as RPM and Debian packaging managers. You are welcome to visit our user guide to discover more features and our YouTube channel for additional screencasts.